Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show with Smart Robbie. Definitely the Saturday was a big eye opener, isn't it? Right? The local state election PRN 13. And we know the result in. But so far, the market has taken it very muted, as I said before. Uh, this morning, if you look at the market, which we will do, uh, market is down minus 0 0.3% in here at 1452. Uh, taking it as a status quote, no doubt, the result later on we will discuss in our breakfast show. And we also have last Friday, the US market also correcting. And now the attention will be turned into the uh, interest rate rise and also uh, whether this uh, correction, which we've been talking about it on our Wednesday live FB. So this Wednesday, we also prepared another special topic to talk about in here. It's about, is the August month proving very difficult to difficult for the stock market. So check it out on our TradeBSA.com event page for this coming Wednesday. But let's take a look at what we have for you this morning in our breakfast show. So this morning, oops, I have uh, this connection. Let me just connect it back again. And I uh, just want to show you the market where we are. All right. And uh, what we have, let's go on to the, uh, our agenda for this morning in here and what we are seeing. So here you can see we do have the Green Pentagon. Uh, we do have the Green Pentagon so far, but the Green Pentagon hasn't been sort of the kind of you know, uh, usual that we, we always look for going straight up, straight up, the kind of uh, uh, approach, but it has not been uh, for much of that. Right now, it is just showing the double top, which I can, but I'm trying to get a connection right to my phone here. We just have to be patient in here. I did have a little bit of uh, uh, off connection in here. So the KLCI market, if not, I'm just going to show you the uh, possible here. Yep, I'm just going to show you from here onwards, which is the futures chart. Okay, the futures chart, and you can see market had a double top and then pull back to this spot here. And so far, we have not seen anything uh, likely to move higher. So let me just try to get this up again. Okay, so we have seen this market pullback. So uh, here you have the uh, support at fourteen forty. So that's where we are. The KLCI is still green panel. We're going to be reviewing also the hot sectors and the stocks uh, update too for that one. Let me just get on to. Here and we have the hot sectors and stock FB also. Okay, we're trying to connect it back. I think I have the connection right now. Yes, we have it. Yep, that's right. All right, so we are out shortly. We got the connection back. So you can see from the KLCI side what we have on this chart here. We did have the a, a double top here you could see here 1460 you, this is an interactive chart you can see also on smart roby you can uh, sort of uh, hook it up and then also see those in there so you can see from here we have uh, we have the, the support right now it's uh, right at 1442 all right the 1442 is a support in here and this was a nice spring the markup but unfortunately the market is showing double top and double top is looking uncertain right now but that's where we are right now unfortunately we just finish the local state election and we will talk about it too all right now we can see the smart roby also have the uh, insider buying and selling in here that one you can get it straight from the bsa 360 but let's look at some of the, our past winner and one of the show i want to show you the power of trade bsa pentagon guider is the green pentagon you can see from here uh catch out this stock went from around 20 cents straight all up in here there were a lot of pullbacks but if you are a slight of the longer term you can use the uh, atr stop loss that's the one would have prevented you and still continue to ride this profit until a point that you find that maybe you want to take some profit or so so that's how we want some of our member those of you who are riding up the the shorter one you would like to take uh, a bit more profit during maybe in uh, less than two to three weeks in here this is definitely a, a longer trade which is more than a month but uh, again this is one of those penny stocks in here so all right insider buying and selling i'm sure there will be some sort of uh, insider buying on this stock or the catcher.com here catcher right so here and uh, 
So I'm going to move on to the state election. I think many of you know the state election, switching to a wider chart here. Uh, the, the result has been so, so much of being sort of anticipated. No doubt the opposition, Perikatan Nasional, has uh, made in room in here. But on the general overall, it is still status quo in here. No doubt there are media reporting that the news uh, uh, investors, especially foreign investors, are looking very very jitty because you know uh, with the conservative uh, Malay water base are strongly getting higher almost denying the two-third most prosperous state in Malaysia which is a slang of which is the state I'm living and right today it's a public holiday too for those of you who are watching it uh, it's definitely a public holiday and of course the party that's done pretty well was DAP followed by PAS, Persatu, PKR, Amana, AMNO, Gerakan and also MUDA was the worst performing one and followed by Gerakan did with one seat out of the 36 seat there and uh, this is the tall tale signs of what it is. Kedah remained to be uh, strongly uh, perikatan, you can see there, compared to uh, PRU 14 and PRU 15 here. They, they have gained straight Tengano too. Uh, so the PRU 14 is the state level, which is the current one now. Uh, Slangor has also uh, gained a little bit uh, in there, in here, but you can check it out more on this in here. Not so much on uh, discussion for today. But... Having said that, the KLCI, as you can see from here, is still status quo. And what we have is this little spring here, right? This long tail. It is important that this market do not break below this level in here, right? Uh, if it does break, then we can see retesting back at the support in here, which I'll talk about. But good thing is foreign funds inflow continue in. As we see, month of August continue to be moving sideways here. So uh, something I will talk about on the live Facebook on Wednesday. Make sure you can. Railway track is already turned up. Remember, we've been talking the railway track, which is the two moving average that you see on the screen there. And uh, look out for sign of weakness and this breakdown here. All right. So members and publics, as a market would survey, there was only two options in here. Either you break up, which I don't see likely until October, the breakdown is going to be there. So take some profit soon. Uh, if not, and uh, be warned, all right? On the FKI futures, uh, what we see here is also very, very similar. Let me just bring up the, uh, the, the chart here. You can draw those, uh, what we call a stage two. Like this is a stage two going up. We can see stage two moving up. Then we have a stage one, definitely hitting up the old higher futures. And also the uh, KLCI, uh, FKLI futures has been uh, green Pentagon for four days. So you have four days of red Pentagon previously here four days and another four. So that means the market is moving sideways. But the way I see it, I do think that it's going to break down and test back 1400. It's just a matter of time uh, that we see here. All right. And uh, we also see higher low. You see, you can see this is a high but here, but this swing up couldn't go higher and we were expecting the market. But the only positive sign is foreign fund is still in this market in here. Now, if you have any stocks that you want me to look at, uh, do pencil those into the comment. I'm happy to look into it uh, once we get on to the Q&A here. And also thank you for coming this morning in here. Really appreciate the, the support here that you're giving. And uh, let's see, we will get a bit more on the side of the market. So uh, let's look at the stage two shares. Last week, we were talking about stake 2 share, which is a continuing of the uptrend. We didn't have much, but this week was more. We have OSK, YTL actually paid a dividend, uh, and uh, the, the stock has adjusted since, so you'll see another gap here. But I just want to show you OSK. We still remember the week is getting a bit weaker, right? Uh, the KLCI is getting a bit weaker, so a lot of the stocks uh, are not giving the, uh, the uptrend that you see here, all right? on the backdrop of a down uh, sideways market in here. So you can see from here, OSK, uh, switching to one month chart here. Now last week was the on the 7th of August. You can see 7th of August was this bar. Let me switch to a wider chart here. 7th of August and uh, it's still sort of trending up a nice pullback. Important to see how this bar will close back today here, okay? And uh, I'm not gonna show you YTL, but let's move on to this week. This week you have a bit more. Right, so this week we have Bar West, all right, which is uh 0098. Bar West, we look at the chart here. All 
Uh, you can see from a chart by switching to a one month chart, you can see the nice continuing up. But do take note, uh, there will be some pullback in here. We'll check out. Muiba was a good one too. Because next week we're going to come back and be looking at this. So let's look at Muhiba. Continue to push up 2.8%. And this is one of the stocks we did talk about on Wednesday. Uh, last Wednesday or on our weekly training that we talked about. One of the stocks you can see. The market at Green Pentagon pulled back sideways before this big move and started to push up nicely in here. Uh, right now it's 74 cents in here. Continue to ride this one. right? And uh, we have also MYEG. And also Genting too. Uh, this is because of the uncertainty which already been removed after we seen the PRM uh, 15 in here, right? The PRM uh, 2023. So which is uh, this does take that uh, status quote for all the local state and business as usual. And that's why Magnum is also continuing its nice uptrend. Uh, MYEG is nice, have a nice base. If you look from a one month uh, time frame here, move a lot sideways, a lot of strength coming in and pops its head up. Let's see how much MYEG. But do think a lot of the stocks when they move up, uh, likelihood a lot of profit taking in here. Uh, Gunting looks good too. So you can see from Genting, uh, nicely moving up 1.1%. You can see pop up because of the uh, election uh, uh, confirmation of the uh, winning back the state. Lah, huh? the, the state means do show that uh, there are some mandates for it. So you can also subscribe to our free daily newsletter if you have not do, done so. And uh, also check out our... Okay, uh, we have uh, Miss uh, Y Yong here. One may look at SKP resources. Okay. Right, and of course, we also have the Smart Robby FA collection. And this week, we have FBI, FPI, okay, FBI resources. So, hey, no, this is not FBI resources, this is FBI. As that FBI looking good, you can see this is a green pentagon in here and uh, holding up a nice base here. So, again, let's look at the FA of uh, FBI which is actually a speaker making company for Mosa and it's rated 5 out of 8 pays a 7.9% dividend. Very good pay, uh, dividend payment in here with the ROE at 19 with a P of only 7 times. Okay, So this is one of the uh, good uh, undervalued company. Next one is Takafu, All right, which I will go on. This is FPI and Takafu is this one here. You can see also a nice pull out of the chart. So I'm just going to show you the fundamental side of it. All right. Uh, okay. YBS too. We have another one from uh, Miss. Uh, I think it's uh, from Yi. Okay. So rated out six out eight. Dividend of three point eight four seven percent and a PE of nine times. So a very low, uh, low, uh, low, good valuation. I would say. Yeah. Uh, that's how we get. It. So our unique pro proposition for Pentagon Guider again, uh, just to refresh, is the green Pentagon, and you can definitely set it up on your smart Roby app. So especially if any charts that you have in like. Uh, Yong and also Yi, check out these stocks into the uh, Pentagon guidance. Should you see a red Pentagon, that's one uh, for the shorter term, you want to exit that. I think that's good. When there's a green Pentagon, you might want to do uh, probably take up some more position or what. So depending on your strategy that you're looking for. So this is uh, definitely you get a notification uh, around 10 uh, after 1030 and also in the morning. So the way to do that is to set up the watch list. And if you can see the blue cell here the blue box here that tells you there's a, actually alert you can set up by exchange if you're looking to the u.s market set up that one too and when you have a blue cell it means you have a pentagon alert in here and first thing when you go in you can check it out on your smart robbie is on your investment here and the pentagon alert it's uh, by the green and also you have a, a, a rate slightly light rate here is the pentagon alert in here highlighted is the blue color so also on your notification, this is on the iOS notification, you'll see the notification actually pops up and showing in here. So this is definitely a freebie for newbie. So use this to your advantages, huh? enable you to alert the notification in here. Okay. So uh, yes, uh, the, so the PRM 2023 has proved to be a status quo, no doubt. The 
uh, Brekata National has made more inroad in here. Uh, market is still well supported in here. Right now, the closing is important. The foreign funds need to come in. But for those of you who are looking for longer term, use the FA collection in here for our uh, more experienced trader. Use the SD2 in here. All right. So, uh, of course, uh, those of you who wanted to up your game, you want to check out our VSA uh 360 in here for our dashboard and so don't for, sub, forget to subscribe to our trade vsa and also TikTok in here and all uh, our vsa 360 has more of the feature that you will not find on smart robin and great review from our members okay now right now we're going to be looking at the stocks that uh some of our members was looking at so first one uh the public here is looking skp so let's look at skp right now we look at the stocks in here. First thing I want to look at is actually green. Uh, this one's not too bad, coming from a low base here, but it's not moving. All right. So right now you have uh, strength in here coming in about nine. So you have some sort of support in here. Whether it's going to break out, it's all going to be determined by the sector where it is. Uh, if we have a switch to the industrial, then this one will move up in here. Uh, then we have also YBS. Again, I want to be... Uh, uh, have an edge on my side, I'll be looking for green pentagon first, right? I think this one will probably have green pentagon here. Okay, now we have turned red pentagon right now. So for this market to go up, go up higher, you need to wait for the green pentagon, all right? Else, it may just move sideways or go further down in here. But if you have bought in around 56 cents at the green pentagon there and right all the way to... Uh, red Pentagon, you would make substantial amount. That's why we always tell uh, many of members to enter after the Green Pentagon, not try to you know go when you go further up or try to it. There was one of the uh, 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 user right uh, decided to buy a bit higher, then eventually turned Red Pentagon and somehow got into a very bad position in here. So the Green Pentagon give you the best optimistic. In, uh, uh, risk to reward in here. So we also have YTL. Yes, YTL continue to power up. Okay, write your profit in here. Okay. All right, continue to go up. You want to write your profit until you see some sort of red pentagon or take at the predetermined uh, 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 target profit. Okay. Uh, any stocks you want me to look at, uh, feel free to pencil in. I do think that this market KLCI will correct. So some of the stocks that you have may be affected in there too. All right. So uh, so with that, all I wish you, those of you who are in Slango, enjoying the good holiday, right? Don't forget to spread the good word around and get your friends and colleagues to subscribe to our Telegram chat room for all our free stock market. And don't forget, uh, recommend uh, Smart Robby to them and, they, and you will get 100 free credit for that. So that's all I have. Thank you again, everybody. Thank you for your support. I'll see you on Wednesday in our live Facebook. Bye-bye.